So if you watch my other videos about this, rhubarb is toxic to deer and also toxic to human as far as the leaves go because it has oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is what beekeepers use to treat mites. So I don't know that if it's derived from rhubarb leaves, but uh, that, that is you know something you should know that most honey that you buy has been the hives have been treated with oxalic acid. Now there's specifications whether or not you can treat with your honey supers on or not, but either way, I'm just telling you, a toxic substance to man is what is used to treat varroa mites for bees, honeybees. Anyways, even though the deer are they're still eating it anyways. And I know because they literally get the squirts and they just leave a trail away from the scene of the crime. They haven't really ate them so much the last week or so, but you can kind of see where they've ate the ends off that. There was a whole bunch of stems on this one that was ate off. Like they ate, they ate these all the way to the ground. They just kind of snapped back because it was really dry. But what I wanted to do, um, Okay, anyways, what I was explaining here was I was just going to use, um, this is chicken fence, and I've got, I think those are like four foot fence post. I'm just going to run the chicken fence around the fence post and attach it to the existing fence, and uh, hopefully that'll work. And of course the audio messed up, so this is a voiceover just so I didn't lose it. And uh, then once this is actually completed, I'll show you what the results were. And in this section, I'm talking about these Irwin uh, metal shears, an easy way to cut chicken wire or hardware cloth or just about any kind of thin sheet type metal or a thin fence. I'll leave a link to these down in the description. These work really well, make a simple job out of this. So for a look at how well the rhubarb is doing now that the deer are not in there eating it every night, you can see that it seems to have snapped back pretty good. Some weeds in this third one right here. Need to get in there and get some weeding done. So basically what I did, you know, what you saw in the video was I put the fence around it. But another thing I did was I stuck some tomato cages in here because deer don't like to be crowded. So even though they could easily jump this fence, they won't because they don't know what these tomato cages are. Or even if they do, they don't know, they don't really have good depth perception, so they can't tell how far it is from like, you know, one side to the other. 
And I just kind of noticed that my uh, thing over there is pushed down. I'm going to go ahead and go in there and get that. But I just wanted to update this to kind of show you that they did rebound just fine. Everything's doing great. I just got to get in there and put some more mulch down and do some weeding. But uh, next year, that should be rocking and rolling. Take two. Anyway, so I just got in there and did some weeding. Um, you can tell the rhubarb has definitely snapped back after the deer got in there and ate it. And I put this fence up. I also put some tomato cages in there because deer don't like crowded places. So even though this fence is only a four foot fence, they can easily jump it. They won't because those tomato cages are in there. They also don't have very good depth perception. So just to like stagger some stuff in there that's not even in the way of the plants growing keeps them out of this bed now if they really wanted in there they could get in there but uh so far so good it's been uh quite a while since i put this fence up it's actually uh july 23rd right now the biggest problem i've got <laughs> as far as the garden goes this year i said i wasn't gonna put anything out but i had a bunch of seed potatoes and onions and i didn't want them to go to waste uh, I'll kind of show you from over here. It's probably easier. I had a bunch of seed potatoes and onions. I didn't want to go to waste. I actually planted them in the garden late. They're just now starting to come up. You can kind of see the onions right over there. Starting to come up. There are potatoes right down there starting to come up. And there's actually two rows of potatoes and one row of onions. The onions is in the middle of the two rows of potatoes. Something got in there though and dug up. You can kind of see right there. Like probably 15 feet. Literally tore the potato bulbs out of the ground. Ate part of them and just left them laying. So I took that deer repellent thing that's like a high pitched sound and stuck in there. Let me see if it does any good or not. I'm also going to pull. I've got a security camera up there that kind of shines in this area it's not very good for picking up small things but um it might give me some idea what actually did that i'm kind of guessing it's probably a mink or a raccoon or a possum but i got to basically catch it on camera before i know what it is once i know what it is i'll figure out how to deal with it probably with a live trap anyways that's all for now thanks for watching god bless you god bless you God bless your families. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. God bless your homesteads.